All right, I'm making more kissing balls. I have staff in my hair. Um, but today we got to go over to my in-laws farm over in Davenport and it's something that I don't always get to do simply because we are so busy over here. So I took some videos. I wanted you guys to see some of the things over there and our cows and all of that. So let's go. I'm going to take you to double S. Pretty girl. Hello, ladies. Hey, Mama. No, wash my hands. Who's this cow? Hello, little kitties. Hey, Seamus, oh, what are your kitties' names? What's this one? That's Remy. Remy? Who's this one? Who's the other one? Tigger. I didn't know there were three cats here. Chubbers is like, get out of my face. Hey, pretty girl. What did we name her? <laughs> She's a friendly little girl. Are we at Are we at Gremlins? Are we at the other farm? <laughs> Watch out, kitty, I almost stepped on ya. There's Echo. Come on, girl. There's Fee. <laughs> You're an ugly cow. So for those of you who don't know, I don't get over to the beef farm very often because we're so busy on the other farm. But here's all our beef cattle. Uh, my in-laws run Double S Farm in Davenport. And we work closely with them for all of our beef cows. So the shorthorns are over here and they take care of all our shorthorn herd. And then we bring cows over for pasturing in the summer. 
but they have a beautiful pack barn, as you can see. Rusty and dusty. There's Echo. The last heifer out of Charm and Poncho. The old girl. And so that is double S. Um, I always joke that my mother-in-law, I have sap in my hair, I keep getting sap in my hair. So I always joke that my mother-in-law is the farmer that I want to be, the woman I want to be when I am, uh, when I am her age, you know, she's like the original mama farmer. She managed her family farm and raised three wonderful boys alongside my father-in-law, but a lot of the, you know, he was deployed for a portion of time. He worked long hours, he worked nights as an officer, and so he was gone sometimes, and she continued to farm, continued to do all of these things, and raise her children with, you know, she had support from her, her immediate family, but it wasn't like a huge safety net like I have. I mean, definitely not a support system that I have with raising my children and the partnership that I have with my parents, my in-laws, and my husband, you know. Um, so she did a lot, and she somehow managed to do it all. And I hope that when I am her age, I am continuing to farm and helping raise my grandchildren with my kids like we are with her. So, uh, you know, shout out to my mother-in-law. She's awesome. She kept three of the kids for a sleepover like she usually does on Saturday nights. And it's just, it's just a really... As much as I have, you know, my parents, I also have my mother-in-law. I also have my extended family. So I have a huge support system. And, you know, it really makes or breaks in how successful you are as a person and in, as a business owner. And so, you know, I, we don't get over to my in-laws very often. Well, I don't. My husband goes over as much as we po he possibly can, um, you know, outside of working here and working at the college and then getting over there. But I be don't get over there very often because of the farm over here, the kids, and the dog business, and all the other stuff that we do. So it's a lot uh, for me to try to get old. And so we're not there for the day-to-day -day management. We're not there for every calf that's born. We're not there for every issue uh, that comes up that on the farm. So it, it makes it a little bit harder for both my husband and I because we wish we could help more. Uh, one really huge thing, when my husband and I started dating, I had my brothers, um, my brother lived in Oklahoma, and I had JJ's beef herd here at, at the farm, and when my husband and I started dating, uh, the cows got out at one point in time, and that is like my mother's biggest pet peeve is animals getting out, because she raised, she grows a beautiful garden, and if the animals get into her garden, it is not okay. So now my husband put up a glorious fence for her, so it's perfect. The animals can't get in there, uh, but they'd have to try really hard to get in there, I should say. <laughs> but anyway, so the cows got out one time, and I called my mother-in-law, and I said, okay, these cows need to go over to Davenport. You guys are set up better for it. We need to just get them out of here because they're getting out. They're running all over, and we can't do it. And I think my dad and I were at State Fair at the time, and... I don't know. It was at, during state fair time, and we just we had to get it taken care of. So she, my mother-in-law and my husband, boyfriend at the time, came and picked up my brother's cows and brought them to Davenport. And I still have my brother's short horn line there on the farm. And because of my mother-in-law, because of my father-in-law, letting me keep my cow, my brother's cows there and continuing this lineage that my brother JJ started, which is a very sentimental thing for me and my fa my parents, um, because of them, I'm able to continue that. They manage the breeding, they manage the calves. You know, we, we talk about who we're going to breed the cows to and when we, you know, when it's time to call, when we want to sell, that kind of thing. But they do the bulk of the management. Um, and so if it wasn't for them, I would not be able to say that my kids are going to show my brother's short horn herd that he started with when he was about Molly's age, maybe a little bit older. And so for me, her keeping my short horns, my father-in-law keeping my short horns is just, it's a way of showing that we aren't two separate farms. We aren't two separate families. While we're not there every, every day, 
Uh, we are one big happy family, you know, and you know, we may have two separate locations, but collectively we are one big family and we are one big farm and we work with each other closely. All of our beef, you know, we work closely with them for um, and, and making sure that orders are filled and freezers are stocked for sales and uh, you know we raise pigs for them and if they need lamb you know we we try to work collectively in using the strongest pieces of both farms so for over there the beef cows it is a strong easy way to raise our cows because they have the infrastructure they have the management they have the tools they have the machinery to do it all there over here we're set up great for pigs we're set up great for chickens we're set up great for lambs and so we work really hard to share those strong pieces with them over in Davenport so that is my shout out to my mother-in-law and my father-in-law and my brother-in-laws over at double s we work really hard like you know as a family and I just you know I wanted to give them a little credit for that that's definitely more than just a little credit they deserve a lot of credit uh, but you know they it, it's hard when you're in two separate locations and I know a lot of farms are like that um, but it is worth it because it just makes us a stronger family because we work really hard we play even harder and days like today when we can celebrate you know a second Thanksgiving um, it makes it it makes it really easy so with that said I'm gonna go make more kissing balls hey friends